beast mode. I'm in beast mode. Hell yeah, I'm in beast mode. Toriko. Toriko chapter 262, y'all. Yo. Come on. Simple, simply put, it's going to be a quick chapter. Because why? Komatsu was in beast mode. Pure and simple. If I didn't have to say anything else about this, this, this chapter, that's what the gist you need to get. Now look. I will keep saying this until it happens. Mitsutoshi. Bro. I'm loving your mom. Straight up. I'm loving the story that you built. But. You need to get Komatsu to have some physical prowess. At the very least. He needs some swordsmanship. In the case, in the case of Toriko. Some knifesmanship I guess you can call it. Okay. Freaking. He has the milk knife. It is of the tooth of the dragon, so you know the the dragon of the eight king beast species. The thing can pretty much cut through anything without him trying. How in the world is he supposed to travel through the gourmet world, through through to the final land, to anywhere and and beyond, like on some buzz like you? To infinity and beyond. How is he supposed to be in combo with the? According to him, we saw at the, at the end of the chapter. No spoiler. The greatest Bishokuya in Bishokuya in the world, Toriko son. Toriko. When when Toriko becomes planetary status, we we see the god of Bishokuya. Location. We haven't seen what he can do, but we see with the the god of the chefs, or should we say the goddess of the chefs. Froze. That's all I need to say. That, that that's enough. Y'all get my point. Now to the actual chapter. Yeah, we see very nice red stuff. So I wouldn't expect that. We see Stajan and we see Midora. Two profiles, right? Stajan is apologizing for the situation. He's like, I apologize for the situation, boss. Midora Sama, you know. And Midora's like, no, 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 stop that, stop that. You have nothing to apologize for, Star. Ah, I like that. He's like, you were the only one to do your job. And in front of him, we see. He's like, okay. So, are these all the chefs? And according to Star Agent, there are approximately a thousand chefs from the human world. Including, we're talking about top tier, top hundred chefs. Just saying. Wow. All for the purpose. And according to Midor, you're all here. Going to be part of my combo. All for the purpose of feeding me. And you got dudes out here like, yo, I want to go home. Don't understand why I'm here. You know, why would we serve you? Like, yo, why would we cook for you, bruh? Bruh. And, and you got a fall just coming out of nowhere. I don't know, six on do. Yo. I got I still Mr. Toshi, you have the bro. That's another thing I forgot to tell us about Torko. What's up with dudes having multiple like six months? I mean Green Patch before cooking an island on a cat four. Now he has doing cooking an island on a and you know now he has six. You have a four old had six. You have the the the, the former former uh, uh personal size of the Bishoku Kai. He had, it was either four or six arms. And then you had that one chick, um, Tepe's friend. You know what I'm talking about? The Sasaya, Sasei, I should say. Yeah. She had, I believe, six arms or four arms. I think she had four arms. So, so I need some clarification on these different arms. But anyways, so our father comes in and he's like, he said something along, talking about, Dang, I forget exactly what it said because I read this chapter yesterday right? and Thursday, Thursday, and whatever. And but pretty much he's saying, All y'all who don't want to work, okay, fine, y'all can die. He, he said something important, I just can't remember what he said, but anyways, it wasn't too, too important or else I don't know. And Medora's like, No, nah. he, he has a different one, like, you know. 
and, and they're calling him evil. Well, one dude calling him evil, you know. Uh, well, um, cooks, chefs are called saints and stuff. And Madoa, I love this thing. Huh? You, <laughs> evil, huh? And he's like, you know what? I won't bring, propose this deal. Whoever can make me say that the meal was delicious, they can go. That person can go home. Or persons can go home. You know, like, ah. Oh. It, you you see you see everybody kind of show and still they're they're hesitant but lo and behold and uh yeah Komatsu steps up and says yeah I'm sure and they're like oh yeah do you not understand who he said right there because because Komatsu was like oh that that's the Bishoku guy boss and, and Komatsu was like yo I'm a chef I, I love what he said he's like yo and, and with a smile on face yo I'm a chef Got a home customer, wanna please me. That reminded me of some doctor stuff. Like, like in One Piece, you had, I remember the first two came to mind. I mean, you had Chopper, Tony Tony Chopper, and you have Trafalgar Law as doctors. Although, you know, no matter who, they wanted to save the patient. That That's one of how I kind of remember this. So this was excellent. But uh, Take is like, you know, because Take, remember he said last week's chapter that. He wanted to have Midor say delicious. This food is delicious, but Midor has not done that. Right? And Komatsu, you know, Taki's out of dimensions, yo, you know, to Midor and all. We don't have that many ingredients. We've pretty much been knocked out. And Komatsu's like, it's all good. I'll use what we got. Komatsu, dog. And then, so Komatsu. Split blitzes and prepares a whole spread of food. I mean, we talk about big table banquet snacks. And like, oh, chef's like, what? How you do this by yourself? And then we get a flat. A uh, short time ago, Taki comes in and he's like, yo, come on, let me help. He's like, nah, 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 not in your position, bro. You, you just need to rest. I got this. Trust me. And Taki, and I love this, he's having an internal, uh, internal monologue or so, whatever thoughts and he's like you know I kind of had jealousy way back when even when we were young back in the training days and I knew this was coming to some degree and he's like I knew that Komatsu he, his his voice he, will, he can hear the ingredients you know all that kind of stuff you know his skill and everything and he cares for food and all this his, you know, all this about him. And pretty much he said, what did he say? He's a genius. When it comes to cooking, Komatsu is a bloody genius. Fantastic. And then so we, we flip back to real time. Midor, in a second or so, all food just gone. Before Blink of an eye stuff, gone. I mean, go, look, I know he has a whole tongue in him. And well, he can't spend all, all the tongue. But, and he's just there. Uh, Licking his lips, guys, and he's salivating. Now, before I must remember this, one, one panel, I remember this. You saw one picture, Medora, when Komatsu came out, said it. You saw his face. He was pondering about Komatsu. He was pondering. Medora was thinking all that we need to say, right? And so, before Medora can say something, back to real time, right? The Bishoku Kai headquarters is collapsing. And I knew it was when when the way it was all shaking up. Before all four said something. And, and then the sea collapsing, obviously. And then it almost 90 degrees. Yeah. Midor does the same kind of freezing to We need an explanation of this. With Satoshi and another thing you need to explain. Because not long we saw Ichiro do it. I'm pretty sure Jiro can do it. Satsuna can probably do it. Zaz may be able to do it. Um, different universe. Froze obviously she knew it well she did some hovering technique. Like what's with this suspended animation jazz? Midor did it to the whole Mishoku God complex. And I don't really like the, the headquarters but the layout of it. it looks yeah, but whatever. It is what it is. It kind of fits her vibe but the outside the exterior could do some serious work. Just saying. So Midor suspends place and then and Stargen, I believe, accurately assumes that, you know, Midori did this, right? He has his abilities. So that shows that even Stargen has a ways to go. How far the rest have a ways to go. 
to catch up to the top, top tiers. And Midori, he's just sitting there, he's salivating, he's thinking, and he pretty much, to make a long story short, says, Komatsu, where you can go. And everybody's like, oh, oh, oh. everybody's thrown back. And you have a flow, like, he didn't even react to the century suit. Yeah. At this point, you got to say cooking wise, just simple cooking. You have got to put, you know, Komatsu at least on par, at the level, if not above, if not superior, to Setsuno, to Zot, to Tengu Branch, and a couple of, you know, uh, Chia, and who else was it? But anyways, Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe had so far. Not maybe not Joe or Froze level. Okay. But Komatsu is obviously top tier when it comes to cooking. And, and Setsu has talked about that. She, she's hinting at that. You understand know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> Komatsu, dog. Komatsu. Komatsu with, with the talk. And you know what Komatsu does at the end? And he becomes like almost on a stone level. Like his eyes were looking like stone crap. But he says some huge stuff. He goes, I am not leaving. I ain't leaving. Which is excellent. Because Brother Green goes alive through the Golden Era. But his reasoning, and you could say it's, you know, expected and whatever. But it makes perfect sense. He, his faith, his, his hope, you know, and his realization of everything. He says, I'm going to wait here until he comes and proves him. What I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the greatest Bishokia in the world, Toriko Sun. Toriko Sun. So we'll see. And it even says that the, and I didn't know what they were describing him, but it even says the, um, the human world arc is coming to its climax. So we'll see what happens next. You know, one, one last point I would like to mention, even uh, a far oh, the thing I'll far notice that I could not remember is it's connecting with the betrayal of the Bishoku God. And Midor is like, all those who betray will be dealt with. Axe, they're going to be dead, they're going to be killed. And I was like, well, it's not entirely the case that they betrayed us, it's more so that we were manipulated, like hypnotized. And then he points out the green patch, green patch. And uh, you see, you know, like green patch. And stars and stars. You know, it's like, yo, green patch, did somebody feed you some Coco. Oh man, it's coming. So, you know, remember that demon, the demon poison in him? We'll see where, where that goes as well. But anyways. And once again, Midor is not a villain. He's an antagonist. Put in work, loving his, his character, loving seeing the Komatsu scene. So overall, I gotta give this an 8 out of 10. Simply was a great chapter of Toriko. You know, we had a bit of plot progression. We saw highlighting to, uh, Komatsu skills. Once again, we saw some. We saw some Midor. I mean, you can't complain when you see a character like Midor. We saw we saw Alfaro. You can't complain when you have any say, you know, and we see, you know, stuff is, stuff is on the move. And, yeah, where do we go? Who knows? I expect to want to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts on the chapter. Tell me whether y'all liked it or not. And, uh, yeah, until next time. Peace, y'all. Have a nice day. Have a great day, great night.